Yo, what is good guys, it's Cryptic TMG and I'm back with a brand new video and today I'm going to be talking about one of the little things that may go amiss whenever you're driving on ACC that might potentially be the reason why you're not able to match some of the fastest times you're seeing from all the aliens at the moment and for me personally it's definitely a big thing I know for me I've checked it out myself and found that I'm definitely losing a ton of time by just doing this small little thing wrong and it's something that kind of gets into your muscle memory if you keep doing it um, for too long but um and that is i'm going to be talking about the overturning of the steering wheel whenever you're going into corners whenever you're you know midway through a corner when you're overturning the car because you feel as if the car's not turning enough and then you begin to scrub the tires a little bit and for me that's one of the most important things on acc now again everyone has their pacific setups everyone has their favorite cars and whatnot but one thing that has definitely changed since this game has come out is the amount you're able to turn the car and actually get away with now back in the day um you used to be able to run a much tighter ratio turn the car and you wouldn't hear as much tire scrubbing and it, not that you wouldn't hear as much tire scrubbing but it never used to really affect your speed as much as it does now now for sure you definitely lose time when you overturn the car and that's my big problem when i first started playing this game I definitely used to overturn the wheel but there was no real punishment for it but since probably I would say the five point tire model when that came out I think gradually every update since then they've kind of put more emphasis on being really smooth with the wheel and making sure you're turning the car the correct amount and I feel like it's definitely a, a difference maker if you are um, not really it's not really something you're checking up on what I tend to do what I um, did personally for myself is I actually turned down the, the the master volume um and i really focused on the the tire volume i turned everything else down and i listened to my car driving through corners compared to other people's and like you could literally hear the tires screeching as i go through the corners compared to some others where you hear absolutely nothing now it might not be a massive deal visually you might not see the time that you're losing you know visually it might be as small as you know a tenth or half a tenth but if you calculate that calculate that through every corner if you calculate that over a race distance then by the time you get to the end of the race you're going to be some way off the, the fastest guys and um, for me definitely because i really do turn the wheel a lot because i used to play this game on a f1 rim and i switched to a circular rim and ever since that happened it's i've always felt that the car never really turns enough for me um so i've always sort of overturned the wheel to compensate for the feeling that i thought or think that i'm missing um, but for sure it definitely slows you down but i'm going to give you guys a prime example it's not going to be a long video but it's something that i want you guys to check up on for yourselves just turn down the volume turn up leave the tire volume up turn down the engine volume the exterior volume and stuff like that and just listen to your car through the corners and then go on board if you've got a race save or you had some aliens in the same race as you go on board with their car and just have a listen to what their car sounds like what the tires sound like going through the corners and um see if you can hear a distinct difference but anyway let's get stuck into the rest of the video so guys i want you to listen in to the sound of the tires whenever i take a corner now this is probably my biggest weakness when it comes to acc um and i, I kind of blame the technique that i use on the fact that i used to use a f1 rim and then that broke then i went back to a circular rim and the games never quite felt the same i always feel like i have to turn the car more than what i was doing before so let's have a listen to the um the difference in sound as I enter corners compared to the guys right at the front. And um, what I did do is I turned the volume of the engine down, turned everything down, and focused on the the tire sounds. You can really hear when I hit a corner um, how the tires are reacting. Now listen carefully to as we get into turn one and turn two. You can hear the tires really, really crying, um, screaming out. You hear it again here through this corner. Now you, d you didn't actually, you didn't actually see the sliding through the corner, but you can hear the tires sort of making that noise as if I'm slightly scrubbing the tires, and it may not seem like a big thing. Let's go back a little bit. And then we're going to skip a few cars forward. We'll skip to the leader. 
and we'll go back and let's have a listen to how his tyres sound going through turn one and turn two. No tyre scrubbing whatsoever, nothing. Again through turn two. Again, very smooth, no tyre scrubbing whatsoever. And it may not seem like a big thing. You may not be able to spot the difference in terms of, you know, the car actually driving through the corner itself. But tyre scrubbing is something that it's going to cost you maybe maybe a tenth per corner. But if you've got a racing track that's 16 corners long and you're losing a tenth every corner, that's 1.6 seconds. And <clears throat> again, in terms of tyre wear as well, you're going to be using up your tyres much quicker. Um, <clears throat> and it really does, it does slow you down quite a bit. Um, for me personally, it's just something I find it very hard to get used to the the um, ACC way of steering when I use a circular rim. I don't know why that is, but I find it definitely very tricky. Like, I feel as if the cars just don't turn. But the precision in turning on ACC is such a big thing that many people miss out. Many people think it's all setups. And, um, you know, these guys have these cracked out esports setups and stuff like that. And a lot of it is just general driving technique it's sort of like if you put the terminology in in football and there's a free kick now anyone can just kick a ball as hard as they can but you know the best players find a technique to to uh <clears throat> to kick the ball that makes it curve and makes it harder for the goalkeeper to stop and kind of with acc in every racing game there's always a certain technique to be really fast on the game and for acc you have to have to have to be very very accurate with your steering and try not to oversteer now me i'm probably an extreme case of you know overturning the car but there's going to be people that are probably between where i am and between the front who slightly oversteer slightly overturn the wheel a little bit and that's going to be where they're losing maybe you know two thousandths of a second three thousandths of a second but as i said if that's happening in every corner then you're going to be losing time throughout the whole lap it's a thing that a lot of people don't focus on. So, you know, if you want to test out for yourself, man, try to do the same thing that I did. Try and turn down the volume of pretty much everything else apart from your master volume and your tire volume and <clears throat> sort of like, you know, just record a race or take one of your recorded races and just listen to your car going around the track and then compare it to the fastest guys. And you'll see that literally there's no tire scrubbing going on for the guys at the front, literally none. And, because I had the privilege to watch the, the AOR race as a spectator and I got to go through the cars and you can actually hear the, the difference in, you know, some drivers who are right in front and other drivers a little bit further back. And then there's slightly a, a little bit more tire scrubbing towards the uh, towards the back of the grid. And, you know, they're all fast guys, but that's going to be the major difference to why some people are so much quicker and so much more consistent and why people are able to keep their tires in for so long and run that fast pace pretty much all the way through a race, man. Um, but guys, as I said before, it's a quick video, quick tutorial for you guys to maybe check up on yourselves and maybe try to improve things that you might have overlooked in the past. But for me, definitely is something that I need to improve on myself because I really do scrub the tires quite a lot. And that's because I just always feel like my car's not turning. Um, but hopefully I can get an F1 rim soon and get back to the way how it used to be. Okay, but anyway guys, it's Cryptic TMG, like and subscribe, hit the notification bell to catch my videos first, and peace! Cryptic TMG made it home.